Hi and welcome to the play review of Inform Marek Hamšík. Plays for Napoli in the Serie A, has a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. He's got a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 88 short pass, 88 attacking positioning, 87 ball control and 85 vision. We've also included the upgrades from his non-inform as well as a comparison for you. You can always pause the video for a closer look at all of his stats. So this is the team we used Hamšík in. We used the standard Serie A gold team in a 4-2-3-1 formation with Hamšík just behind Higuain up top. So now on to how we felt about Hamzy. Now he isn't the paciest of players, he's only got 75 acceleration, 75 sprint speed, so only average pace. But being at camp, pace isn't really that much of an issue, not that important as if he's a up front or on the wing. So I think Cam really is the best position for Hamzik and that's where you want to be trying to get him in, into your teams as that playmaker, just sat behind your, your striker or your strike, your pair of strikers. So that's so you can make the use of his strengths, which he has, which is the 88 short pass and 85 vision. So he can create and do a lot of damage with his passing just behind your strikers, playing in that hole. He's going to be pulling the strings for your team. And he also has great ball control and dribbling as well, which is great for holding onto the ball, creating and opening up gaps to feed the strikers, or even exploit it himself, because he does have good dribbling, as we said. He's able to dribble around them defenders and get into the shooting positions. And he has got a decent long shot on him as well. 83 long shots. We didn't really get any long, long ranges. But he was on target quite often from around the edge of the box. So we did manage quite a few from edge of the box as you can see in the clips. And his strength at 72 is not too bad here either. And with him being 6 foot, he was withstanding quite a lot of the challenges from the defenders. He was, he was quite robust and resilient against the defenders. I was quite surprised. So that's another advantage for Hamzik. He's not going to be getting bustled off the ball all the time like your uh, tiny cams. Another advantage to his height as well is he does make him an aerial threat when he does get in the box. Which he does quite often because he got a high attacking work rate. Uh, and when he's in there he doesn't get swamped by the bigger centre backs and he managed to nod in a couple of headers for us as well on this chance we're really unlucky not to get to penalty being taken out by the goalie but he does show great positioning hanging around to be in the right place to finish off with his head so another good example of his uh, great positioning there as well so let's look at Hamzik's performance stats in 10 games he scored 12 goals and got 5 assists all his stats are down the left goals are on the right and the position map bottom right shows goals and assists so you can see where he's doing the damage from. You can always pause the video for a close look at all of his stats as well. So overall we're giving Hamzik an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Great goal record for us. Great for a cam. 12 goals in 10 games. I possibly would, give him a, would have been a 9 out of 10. But if he had his 4 star skills to go with his 4 star weak foot. He, he would have been an almost perfect cam. He is great for a Serie A team. He's got to be uh, your cam in your Serie A team. And his price is dropping a lot as well. Uh, currently he is going for under 70k. If he goes less than 50, highly recommend you go out and try him. Put some great performances and got a great goal scoring record for our team as well. So finally, positives and negatives. His positives are, as we said, he's got a great passing, 88 short pass. He's got great ball control and he's dribbling. So good long shots, 83 long shot, rattled in some good finishes from around the edge of the box. And he's got a great attack positioning in as well. Also makes the perfect playmaker for sitting behind your strikers. Only real negatives, we put nationality because it can be quite hard to hybrid. You really, you're only going to be looking at a Serie A team with Hamzik if you, unless you want to go Slovakia. And his three star skill, not really a biggie but... 4 star skills have made him a lot lot better so highly recommended hopefully he's going to be keep dropping all the time over this weekend so go out and try him hopefully you won't be disappointed so thanks a lot for watching lads stay tuned for more stuff please leave a like if you did enjoy the video and if you're new please subscribe we've got tons of FIFA 15 coming up loads of squad builders we try to do in-depth squad builders like our reviews so go and check them out in the videos and thanks a lot for tuning in cheers lads peace